two basic things are actually needed before what a trader can think of what to enter into a trade first is the market in a training market or is it in the support and resistance the two conditions are advised traders to always trade on one is a uh, support and resistance zone or a training market now the market doesn't move in a direction always it moves in four stages from the accumulation to advancing advancing to distribution and then toward the final stage which is the declining stage so you have to be able to identify the current stage in which the market is first now before we go on don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and hit the notification bell or leave a comment section below in case you have a question for us first let's identify what euro swiss france is all about this market here is in a bullish trend as you can see it's bullish so what we need to do is look at the current stage of this market as, as you can see in this stage here the market is what in a bullish trend now before we want to what draw our trend line which we're going to be covering in this tutorial the first thing we need to consider is the swing point the major swing point now if you look at this here this and this this actually is more obvious than this than this so our major swing point is this this zone here let me take this out this zone here and lastly this zone here now why are they obvious because they are the ones that were more easily seen that can easily be already identified so whenever you're drawing your swing your uh, your trend line you make sure the market touches two to three major swing points now i'm going to be drawing the trend line now So as you can see, the market is actually touching this. This actually is the week. That zone there. This zone here. And lastly, this is equally touching this week here. Let me try this. So now this tells us that what the market is actually in an uptrend. Now what is an uptrend market? An uptrend market is a market that is actually moving what in an upward direction. In the sense that it's giving us a lower high and lower low. A higher high and a higher low. Sorry. So if we identify this zone here and this zone here, this can actually tell us that this is lower than this so the market is actually moving what in an upward direction so I can easily get this to spot it out something like this right. to spot it out I'm going to be doing that so let's tell us that the market is actually going what up so whenever you want to get out of a trade, you want to see what a trend break, a trend line break, that actually happened here. This tells us that the market is about to what go in and what opposite direction because the, the trend line has already been what broken. It's actually a market that is going up. So we are supposed to be looking for what buys in this market and not sells. Now, if I want to get in it, involved in this chart, I'll wait for the market to come to this trend line here. And this will be my what? POI, my point of interest. So when I go down to the 30 minutes, see? I want to look for potential entries to take the market to the what? 
to the upside and what I'm going to be doing here also is simple when I get to the 30 minutes and I get my entry here I'll draw a trend line also here in the 30 minutes what happened here my trend line was broken don't forget I entered the market from this zone here and what happened my trend line was broken so i'll be getting out of this trade here that should tell me that the market wants to go out go in an opposite direction and what did we see we saw the market give us what a double top there which shows that what price about to move in and what opposite direction and actually they came back again to the trend line let's go back to four hours so trend line is actually very important because they serve as what indicators that tells us when to get into a trade and tells us what the, the direction of the market as at where the price is now let's take a little a look at our, another market um all the usd is actually on a bearish trend as you can see the market is what bearish it's actually what bearish now if you want to draw a trend line in the bearish market what you need to do identify it the major swing point also This is, and like I said, the market should be touching two major swing points. And what did we see? There was a trend line break here, showing that the market is about to move in the what opposite direction. Let me quickly do something like this: the line chart. See, this was a pullback that shows that the market was going up. So, very trend line signifies that the market is what going down. Draw this also. So as you can see, this market is actually what bearish. Some folks be like, you wait for the market to come to the trend line here. To sell. And when it gets to this zone here, you buy. Boo, I'm not in support of that. I always advise traders to always what stick to what the market and follow what the market is doing which is what following the trend now if i'm about to get involved in this trade i'll wait for the market to come what to this zone here where the trend line is there is an area of value for me to get involved in the chart and right market to what to the downside because why our trend is actually bearish so nobody should be coming to this zone to look for what buys except where the trend line has been broken that shows that the market is about to move in an opposite direction if you haven't watched the video where i talked about support and resistance you can easily click on the link i'm going to be leaving the description below you can click on that link and you would be able to get access to watch that video I talked about support and resistance now as you can see in this zone here this support level has actually will turn into a what this resistance level actually just turn into a support level to take market toward the upside but i i doubt if this market will still continue going up because why the trend line has already been broken hope this video is helpful to you don't forget to subscribe peace